Hi Sagittarius. So thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page on Instagram, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. Thank you, guys. So, let's see what's going on. Spirit, please tell me what's going on. What is going on with my Sagittarius? Spirit, what is going on with my Sagittarius? Oh, no. We're not doing that like that today. Spirit, please tell me what's going on with my Sagittarius. Spirit, please tell me what's going on with my Sagittarius. All right. So, I feel like you're, you're working on something. All right. Let's talk about this. Damn, why y'all always got to have the dark ass energy. Three of Pentacles, the Devil, Four of Swords. So I feel like you're working on something with somebody. However, this motherfucker is toxic too. Um, I feel like there's very little to no communication with it from this person, and you are by yourself. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about this person. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Capricorn, primarily for some of you, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you're waiting to see what this person is going to do. Maybe they need to end something with somebody else before they can invest. That's why they may not be speaking to you like that. Yeah. With this king of wands here, I feel like this person may be having to deal with something external to you. But they are coming towards you. They're paying attention to you. They're passionate about you. Yeah. There's a lot of love here with somebody else, though. And I feel like they're trying to block that off to have something else. That's a blockage between y'all two, basically. Yeah. This person may want a relationship with you, but they're indecisive on how to do it. They find you very attractive, though. Here you are. Looking all good and stuff and stuff. Looking good. All right. So, let's see how this person feels about you. Stay tuned. I am going to do an all signs read at the end. Okay, so this person has a lot of passion, chemistry with you. They are already digging your style, but they also know that it's going to take some time for them to give you what they want, but they want you to keep an open mind. They want you to know, look, I said passion, and passion was at the bottom of the deck. They want you to keep an open mind because I feel like they like, you know, if you give them time, they can really give you what you want, but they just are stuck right now, stuck in something else. Okay, Spirit, so tell me more. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me what's going on with Taurus. I mean, wow. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus. Tell me what's going on. Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse. So this person is not feeling like they're stable enough right now to do anything. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus again. This person definitely is making things stagnant, but they want to manifest with you. Why is this King of Pentacles in reverse? Because this person, um, hmm. Something to do with truth. This person is needing to do something. Be honest with themselves about a situation that they're in. Maybe this person is not being honest with you about something that they already got going on. But with the star card, it's because they're afraid to lose you. Because they're looking at you like you're the one. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this with you. But why is this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords here? Yep, this person is afraid that if they tell you something, you're going to cut them off. Yeah, yep, they feel like it's going to be an ending. They're hiding another relationship or something from you. This is a new person. This is a new person. Okay, Magician with the Star card. Why is a Magician in the Star card here? Yeah, this person definitely wants to be with you. They want to offer you something big. I'm getting a lot of tangible energy here. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Somebody wants some type of stability. But this person does, is not stable. They want the stability, but they're not stable. Let's see what the outcome is. Maybe you you intimidate them. Maybe you have your shit together and that's the problem. They don't. Let's see what the outcome is. Spirit, tell me what the outcome is. Remember to stay tuned for the all signs read at the end. What is the outcome? Outcome, please. For Sagittarius. Hmm. 
So I see you may be rejecting this person. They're not giving you what you want. Yeah, you're going to remain single. I feel like you're also working on your money, focusing more on stability, not really having time for the bullshit. Some of you are not going to be drinking. I also see that. Somebody like, nah, I'm not going to drink no more. You might have a hangover. Some of y'all might drink too much this up and coming weekend or this past weekend that just passed. So y'all recovering from that still. Then y'all got to deal with this bullshit. Some of you guys need to start eating more vegetables too. Some of you guys are not eating the right way. And you might be noticing that you're gaining weight. Okay? Vegetables, you guys. Vegetables. Vegetables and being careful of drinking too much. Okay, so Spirit, what is your advice? Okay, so there's a need for you to decide what you want to invest in. I feel like right now you need to be passionate about your fucking money. Stop letting little dumb shit stress you out like people. <laughs> little dumb people, okay? So let's do an all signs um, from Aries all the way to Pisces and see what exactly is going on between you and each sign. Please don't forget to hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Our channel is always fun here. We family, you guys. Ain't no judgment here. All right, Spirit. So tell me, all the way from Aries to Pisces, dealing with Sagittarius, what's the vibes? If you are a Saggy dealing with a uh, um, Aries, I feel like this person wants to offer you something, but they also are afraid that you're going to reject them. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a um Taurus, there is a potential for a big romance here. I feel like somebody does want to offer you love that's going to turn into a big commitment. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Gemini, I feel like this person wants to work with you. They would like a lot of attention, but this person also is an attention whore. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Cancer, I feel like somebody is holding back, more focused on themselves and their money. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Leo, this person is um, really having a hard time dealing with the fact that you cut them off, but I feel like it needed to happen. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Virgo, this person definitely wants to be with you and they're watching the fuck out of you. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Libra, I feel like there was a breakup and there was a need for a breakup because there was a need for you to detach from this person. Yeah, in order for you to focus on your happiness. If you were a Sagittarius dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like you need to know that there are some secrets that this person is holding back from you. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with another Sagittarius, somebody wants a new start with you. It could be a sex-based connection. However, not only is this person immature, but they keep you stuck in your head too much. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like this person is very controlling, but they do love you. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Aquarius, I feel like somebody has their wall up because they know the truth about the situation. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Pisces, this person definitely when it comes back to you, they look at you like home. Okay, let's get one card from the Rebel deck and I will release your energy. It says shit is going down at your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. That was for me. All right. Thank you guys.